pretty good win uh, to end the regular season on? Oh, uh, yes, real good win. You know, it was Tawan's last game, so we definitely had to get the win to see him. You know, so his last game at Matt Court would be a good one. What kind of a teammate has Tawan been to you? Oh, Tawan has been a great, great teammate to me. Uh, he's helped me in all aspects of my game. Uh, you know, sometimes when I have problems, like experiencing things back home, he's been there to help me. Uh, you know, I love him. I can honestly say I love him as a person as well as a player. And I think it's safe to say that he cares the same about me. And I think that's good for any type of relationship that you have with anybody. What's the value of being an opportunity for us? You know, you never want to finish last. So, you know, all we've been through this year, we, we wanted to finish on a good note, so to say. And, you know, our season's not over. Luckily, we had a Pac-10 tournament in there, so hopefully we can get on the roll and, you know, get a, get, get, get a couple wins and maybe make it to the tournament. Anybody can beat anybody, as we've seen all year. Kendrick, with what you guys have been through this year, I mean, a lot of groups might have quit on their coach. It's obvious that you guys didn't. Can you just talk about that? And, and no, that? no, no. We, we, we care about Coach a lot. And, you know, uh, speaking for myself, I'm sure as well as my other teammates, you know, we all want to see Coach here. We're all aware of, of, of everything that's going on with, within the media and all on the internet and things. But, you know, Co Coach is a great guy. You know, uh, he helped us, helped us grow as men as well as players. And, you know, I just feel like he's done a good job. Of course, we've had two down years, but, you know, you always want to win for your coach, especially when you care about him like we do. Juan, you want to talk about the bow and, and the, you know, your final farewell to the, the bit out there? Yeah, you know, I was just, like you said, in my final goodbyes to Matt Court fans. It's been unbelievable my whole career, and I just want to thank them. You know, um, um, they support us, you know, throughout the uh, ups and downs. You know, they come back, you know, and uh, they lift us up. So we play off their energy. Matt Court is them. So, you know, I just wanted to give them thanks and you know, let them know I uh, greatly appreciate them. Is that about the happiest you've been all season? I mean, you really look like your sheer joy there at the end of that game. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, last last home game for me. So, you know, I just wanted to have fun, come out, and you know, enjoy my last uh, run here. How would you like to be remembered by all the Oregon fans? Um, that's up to them. You know, um, hopefully, I've done enough, you know, to have a positive impact on them, so they can see me in a good way. You know, hopefully, I touch them. And, you know, whatever happens or whatever they say about me, hopefully it's positive things. Speak to your four years here at the U of O. It's been great, you know. Um, um, it, it still isn't over. You know, we got a Pac-10 tournament. You know, we got high hopes on winning that. So, you know, I just I don't want to close it out right now, but it's been great so far. What does Matt Court mean to you? Uh, it's a historic building, you know. Um, a lot of great players have played in here. Um, and, you know, like, it's, it's one of the top five arenas to play in, you know, um, uh, by ESPN.com. You know, great facility. You know, it's old. Um, as I said before, it's not uh, anything flashy about it, but it's historic. And, you know, we have unbelievable fans to make the, the, this um, building very special. Juan, after all you guys have been through this season and even last year, uh, a lot of groups might have quit on their coach, but you guys obviously didn't. Can you just talk about that and what you know? What made you, you guys as a group collectively, hang in there? Well, you just gotta keep pushing. You know, last year we knew we were young. Um, it was a learning process. You know, we took a lot of bumps and bruises. We had a down season, but we came back to practice every day fighting. You know, um, one thing about these guys, they come back every day wanting to get better. You know, we never hung our heads. You know, we just came back and um, prepare for the um, next next day. Did you feel like the guys wanted to get this win for you? Uh, yeah, you know, especially the Kendrick. You know, he said before the game he was going to get a double-double, and he got it, you know. Um, and I respect him a lot, you know. He's been talking to me, um, trying to make me feel bad, feel sad. You know, he said he's feeling emotions. But it really hasn't hit me yet, you know. So, um, yeah, you know, um, last um, home game for me, you know, the guys went out and played hard for me. You guys also maybe try to maybe win one for Coach too, because he's, he's taking fire, been taking fire all season. Uh, he's been going through that uh, his whole career, you know. So we support him, you know. Um, hopefully, you know they bring him back, you know, because I think he deserves to be to coach at least one more year in that in the new arena, you know. If they want to get rid of him, but you know that's not my my. Um, I'm not going to speak on that, you know. But um, hopefully we support him, 
And, you know, um, I love him to death because he gave me an opportunity to play here at the University of Oregon and not many universities uh, gave me the opportunity.